Welcome back everybody, it's Annie. And if you're new to my channel, I do wanna welcome you. I mostly do planner videos on this channel, but I will occasionally do a homeschool one as well because I am the mother of five kids. Um, two are in elementary school, one is just about preschool age. I mean, she's four, so I guess that's preschool. Um, my other two are, well, <laughs> two and under. So I am a busy mom and that is why I carry a paper planner. Um, it's not enough for me to just have a calendar because a calendar can only keep track of what I have to do, but a planner is gonna help me organize, prioritize, make a plan of attack and actually get things done. So what I wanna do today is walk you through my probably top five or first five things that I mark in my planner and show you how I do that. So what I'll do is, this is actually very much a plan with me kind of style um, as I go through the five different things and I'll try to be sure to mark um, where I got my planner from, where I got my notebooks from, where I got this pen from for instance, all in the description box below so you can get a link. Um, I always include a referral link or a coupon code if I have it, that way I can help you save money um, and know where I get things. So my style of planning is in a blank book like this. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. So I get these blank books. I love the paper, which is why I get this brand. Again, I'll have it marked down below. Um, and I create my own spread. Sometimes I'll use an entire page for one day. Sometimes I'll put a couple of days on one page. It's whatever I feel like I need either in the moment or um, like I did this week on Monday, I went ahead and set up kind of the space or the framework for the entire week. So we are on Thursday, but what I wanna do is go through my five things, and to do that, I am going to get planned for tomorrow. So I do wanna remove this clip so I don't write on it, and I do wanna take out this card, which I'll be referring to in a minute. Whoops. So the first thing that I do is I do have to start with my schedule. It only makes sense. I won't know how much time I have to do things tomorrow. I won't know um, when I can do things unless I check my schedule. So tomorrow is Friday and um, a co-op is a homeschool group and it is prep day tomorrow. So I will be one of the teachers, we call them tutors, in the upcoming, it's, it's the winter um, semester, it's 10 weeks long and I need to go and make all my photocopies and do things like that tomorrow. And that is a scheduled thing. I can only do it, um, in fact, it's not one to two, it's two to four. So, I wanna put that at the top of my planner. Um, I'm gonna use, hang on, let me get this so that way the pages don't cover up what I'm doing here. I'm gonna use kind of like this little arrow and um, I'm gonna write co-op, prep day, and I'm gonna write two to four. But, not but, I don't know why I said but. So I have that written down and I know that's what I have to do. Now we do not do school on a Friday, plus this is the week of New Year's, so we are still on winter break or Christmas break or whatever you wanna call it for homeschool. So we will not be doing any school tomorrow. Oh my goodness, this is the second time I've had to film this video. Um, and the first time I got interrupted so many times by my kids bickering and fighting downstairs while they were supposed to be playing and I hear them going off once again. I really hope I get this video filmed today. I'm gonna do my best. So that's really um, the only thing that I have on my schedule for tomorrow. So the important reason to have this first is now I know how much time I have and what all I can try to fit in for tomorrow. So number one is schedule. The second thing that I put in is I um, don't wanna forget this step. I don't wanna get it to get lost um, in my to-dos and stuff, and I need to check my menu. So 
So I actually menu plan using the plan to eat website. It's a website, it's an app that syncs on my phone. So oftentimes I'll plan on my computer and what's great is you can import recipes from wherever you want um, with a click of a button. So I don't have to type anything. And then I can drag and drop my recipes um, on a monthly type calendar. And you can do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and everything. So you can plan as many meals as you need to for a day. And as soon as I plug the meal, for in my case, I've really only planned dinners. When I plan the plug the dinner into my day, it automatically puts all the ingredients on my shopping list. So when I take my phone with me grocery shopping, I can pull up whatever day or days that I'm looking at and I can see all the ingredients that I need. And I can also refer to the recipe and what day I have it planned on and all of that. So I highly recommend that. Um, even though I'm a paper planner girl, I feel like that's the best way to organize my recipes because I get most of my recipes from Pinterest and the internet anyways. So I've got that referral link down below to try to save you money. They usually have um, a free trial period anyway, so you can try it for free um, with no risk. But that doesn't help me when I'm paper planning because I need to be able to see when I'm looking at this um, do I need to start meal, you know, prepping? Do I need to get something out of the freezer? Like I need to see it here um, in my day to day, but I use the app for planning and grocery shopping purposes. So I am this week, instead of writing it individually, like maybe I would write it here, I have it written down on the back of this menu card. Um, again, I'll link it down below. It's also from the same place I get these books, Designs by Planner Perfect. And tomorrow is Friday and we are going to have chicken and veggies. And I know that this chicken that I have planned is actually, I'm gonna grab one of the um, pre-made rotisserie chickens from my local market and um, any veggies if I need it. So I'm trying to like shop what I have in my house right now and use up a lot of stuff, but I think I'm out of vegetables as well. So um, what I want to do, I have it written there, but I need to write it like a task. And that is um, for me, all I need is buy dinner because I wanna remember that what I'm hoping to do is do this from, oops, I totally just smeared my pen by writing my, or running my finger over it. It's actually a quick drying pen, but that was like literally when I wrote it. Um, while I'm out doing this, on my way back I wanna buy dinner, so I don't have to make another trip out. So I wanna do it all at once. Um, so I have buy dinner, oops, oh boy, oh boy. That looks terrible, which side note, um, this is the instance, like this is real planner life and now I have a pen smear on my finger. <laughs> this is real life, okay? Um, I have five kids. This happens because I get interrupted in the middle of writing stuff down. Um, you can use whiteout. I could get some of this washi tape and put it over top. Um, I could do all sorts of things. I could leave it. Whatever makes you happy and can help you fix this. Like honestly, if I had to, you could just kind of like tape these pages together and I could start over. So, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know where that came from. So don't let mistakes bother you. Um, it's gonna kind of bother me for the rest of this video because I won't be able to fix it or do anything until I'm done. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so just know that anything is fixable. You can start over, you can paste something, you can hide it. <laughs> See, now look how pretty it is. So there's that. So number one, I do my schedule. Number two, I check my menu, make sure I know what I'm having for dinner that day, make sure I don't need to do anything for dinner, and then I can move on to number three. Number three is, I have to look at my notes. I knew I would forget them in order if I didn't look at my notes, is my top priorities for the day. Um, some people do a top three. Some people just like have a priorities list. Um, as a stay at home mom, I don't always have control over my time. So if there's something that has to get done that day, 
or something that's a little more important or something like that. Um, I kind of write it first, especially if I think about it or I mark it in some way. So, so I'm telling myself like if nothing else gets done today, this has to get done. And actually the thing that really has to get done is this co-op prep day. Um, and I'm going to make a note here or write a task to make sure to um, have all um, lessons. So when I leave the house, I wanna make sure that I have all of the pieces that I need. Um, if I need to print anything else in order to get it photocopied while I'm there, then um, that's, that's my priority tomorrow. So everything that kind of encompasses that. And I really don't have um, a whole lot of other priorities that I can think of now. Now I could also, cause I'm planning this the day before, I could wake up in the morning tomorrow um, or have a conversation with my husband tonight, or um, at the end of the night, I could see you know the state of my house and realize that tomorrow a priority is to vacuum or something like that. So sometimes I don't even know what a priority might be until the day of. So this is as far as I can kind of plan now. And it will be just a simple thing for me to add it tomorrow if I need to have any other priorities. Um, and then after that, so that was number three. Number four is my task. And this is something that's worked for me. I think we all have different ways that we do this and um, how much we put here. But a lot of times I will you know, I just feel like I don't do a whole lot as a stay-at-home mom, but in reality, I'm doing a lot. It's like every move, every moment I'm moving and working. I'm cleaning up a mess, I'm changing diapers, I'm doing another load of laundry, I'm cleaning up yet another meal, and so on. So a lot of times, if I feel like I need it, I'll write down those kinds of things. It's not even like to remind myself to do them, but it's like proof that I, I am in fact doing a lot of work and my daughter is yelling really loud. Okay, she just went downstairs. Um, so sometimes I'll write them down after the fact as like a record of what I've done to just kind of cheer me up and to bolster my spirits. Like, yeah, I'm doing stuff. And sometimes I will think, you know what, the laundry's piling up. I should do laundry tomorrow. It's not really, it could be a top priority. Um, it could be just something that's really good to do. Um, or it could just be, you know, hey, if I get to it. So sometimes I'll just kind of look around and think like, hey, I don't want to forget. Maybe tomorrow I'll clean out the fridge. You know, something that I don't do on a regular basis. But I honestly, I can't think of any of those kinds of things that I want to add yet. Um, I might add those tomorrow. And then the fifth thing that I always... Um, add and throughout the day that get added to my planner, which is why it's one of the top things, are notes. So I have all sorts of different kinds of notes. So here's an example. Make sure to have all lessons. Well, a note that I want to make to this is lap book because I want to make sure that I have all the pieces of the lap book that we're going to be doing as we do our study uh, for co-op. And I've already printed out some of them. I need to print out the rest. And that's this is like a note that goes along with this task or schedule. Um, another note is I want to check side dishes side dishes because I might still have stuff here at home that I can use in which case I don't want to buy more so sorry I had to fix my foot it's falling asleep so um this again is another way that I would do a note to myself um, regarding these different things um, so notes for me are not necessarily like I'm making a phone call and in my blank space here I write down notes about the phone call although occasionally that does happen um, it's more like I'm sitting there watching a YouTube a homeschool YouTube video and um, 
somebody mentions a book or something that I want to look up or remember and I might jot something down. Um, I do keep a note section for things like if I want to be like remember to oh I'm sorry you can't quite see you know to remember to do this um, sometime next week or remember to check with my husband about something um, so I do have usually a designated notes section for things that I want to make sure I keep track of um, but this is kind of like a journal of my life and I just really like how um, I just I have this like almost fluidity between my tasks, my notes, my menu, my journaling, my emotions, my thoughts, and it all can kind of be in this section. And I do keep these. Um, you know, someday I may get rid of them, but right now I can store them well and I can keep them tidy. And um, I just I really like to be able to look back on it and and who knows, you know. Um, 20 years from now when my kids are all grown I might love looking back and seeing what my days were like when I was so busy and I basically my only task each and every day was like cooking and cleaning and doing laundry so sorry I'm just checking on the baby there she is she's over there um, so yeah I want I want this to be a keepsake and it's just, it's so crazy to me. Sometimes I feel like I have a block, a mind block, where I feel like I have a hard time explaining what I do. Because on the one hand, I feel like it's really complicated because it's very specific to my brain. But on the other hand, I feel like it's just so basic and boring. Like I write down laundry, I write down dishes, um, I write down, you know, buy diapers. But I'm gonna miss these days and I will I will want to look back on them and know what it's like, the things that I can't remember. So I'm 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 really happy with my planning system right now. Um, it helps me actually plan and get things done, and then it's also this huge like di giant diary of my life, and I feel like that's just so beautiful. So those will be my top five things that I have in my planner. And I hope they inspired you maybe to mark something that you don't mark already um, or give you an idea of how to mark them. I hope to do this as kind of like a mini series throughout the year, like five more things to put in your planner and to keep these ideas um, fresh for us because I think that's what really gets us excited as planner girls and guys and to really just want to dig into our planners and keep using them just to kind of give us that motivation when we're fizzling out a little bit. So I hope this video was informative and interesting. Did you know that I know what kind of videos to do for you guys based off of how many views a video has and how many likes a video has and even comments because the more you interact with my videos, the more feedback then I have to pick content and to make upcoming videos. So would you consider not only liking this um, and watching this, but maybe making a comment, sharing it maybe on Facebook or other social media platforms so more people can um, be reached with these kinds of videos. And in that way, you are helping to guide this channel to make it everything that you would like it to be. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this. I will see you next time. Bye.